Yeah, Heath Bell. Uh, he's a guy that uh, in, in five games that they played, he, he's pitched in two. He's thrown an inning in each of those two games. Uh, four strikeouts. He hasn't given up a hit yet, hadn't given up a run. He's 37 years old, so we're kind of keeping our fingers crossed and hoping that he makes this team. But, of course, they have a talented roster, so it's going to be a tough position to earn. But Heath Bell has always been a guy that has had to earn it, not heavily recruited in high school. In fact, never made an all-star game until he played professionally, but eventually became one of the game's premier closers. Recently, however, he's struggled a bit to catch on with some teams, but this spring he's got a chance to call DC home. How about Heath Bell coming into this game? Heath Bell has always taken the unconventional approach. He told us he was coming into this game and throwing all fastballs. That's Bell now, on his way to practice, still moving to his own beat. I've been a roller coaster. I've been up, I've been down, I've been up again. He fells all over the place. After bouncing around to a handful of teams the last two years, the 37 year old is hoping a now 40 pounds lighter Heath Bell can regain his all star form of years past. Now at the Nationals. There were three things I wanted to come to spring training and do. And one, I wanted to be judged by the book by its cover. You shouldn't do that, but I want it to be. And I think I've accomplished that. Everybody just looks at me and goes, wow. You've, you've changed the way you've looked. Accomplish that. Next one, you got to get the hitters out. Everybody asks me, who's my competition to win the job? And I keep telling them it's the hitters. And then third, win a job. It's a journey back to the bullpen that's both figurative and literal. A lot of people just say I'm a big kid at heart, so. Bell loaded up the family, like trekking nearly 3,000 miles from San Diego to Vieira, Florida, in the Bell family RV. Welcome home. Everybody else on the team is probably staying in a somewhat comfortable hotel. You're staying in an RV park. Do you see? I mean, it's the bed's comfortable. I've got my own place. I mean, what's what's comfortable? It's like you have a home. And with his family now back in San Diego, Bell's 31-foot slice of solitude has just about like everything that. a guy could ask for. Here, I'll give you the tricks of the trade: the bedroom and the living room. It actually works. Store some stuff underneath. The extra pillows, dishes. This is chicken broth. This folds out. The Xbox down here. Got a little squirrel hanging out right there. Pop the TV out. If you want some tunes, this is my toy compartment. Pull everything in here. It's my Star Wars one. Dude, George Farmer's awesome. It's turning into a rocket ship right now. Yeah. This yeah. is where the magic happens. Yeah, it's a one-person deal. Go in there. The floor is giving way a little bit. No, it's not. You can't wash this way. You have. You can only wash this way. Never seen the solo wheel? Yeah, it's battery. You just lean forward, lean backwards. Hey, you want to try it? I don't think so. It's going to go well. Are guys uh, jabbing you a little bit? Do they know about your living situation? I don't. Some guys do. Some guys think it's pretty sweet. And I suppose the best part of living in an RV, no matter where you are, well, you're always home. If I make this squad, Probably live in the RV park that's in Washington. I've already looked. There's one in uh, Cherry Hill, I think. Hold on my hand. There you go. Turn around. <laughs> there you go. It's not bad. Yeah, we became fast friends after that. <laughs> By the way, I have checked into Cherry Hills. They do have availability starting next month. So uh, if Keith does make the team, then that's an option for him.